Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft with me, Tivek. So, in the last episode we made ourselves the nanosuit uh, helmet, leggings and the boots. And, um, oh yeah, let's uh, fix, this. fix this. Perfect. So we're up to seven episodes without any major incidents. Perfect. So, uh, off camera I've been working a bit on the um, recharging room but I thought I'd tear it down and show you how to build it because it's uh, an interesting build I learned the basics of it from uh, from uh, Direwolf uh, check out his let's play and you'll see I think it's episode 65 ish but um, for now let's um, let me clear this up and we'll build it together. Alright, so as you might remember, I built these battery boxes here. Um, and they've been filling up nicely, so... What we're gonna do, we're gonna work with a few items. I stored away all the charged batteries, so I'm gonna have to uh, request some more. Um, but... We're gonna work with filters and retrievers. A filter is made with a red dot wafer piston two gold ingots and the rest cobblestone. These are quite neat. They will pull things out of inventories, like for instance a chest, but you can decide what it should pull. Like for instance, if I want this to pull... Let's see what I can find, something that I have quite a lot of. Let's pick up the red, red alloy ingot. I can tell it to pull red alloy ingots, like so. And uh, let me just run the tube around this way. Oh. Like so. Okay. So every time this one gets a redstone signal now, it will pull out uh, one of these red alloy ingots from this inventory here. And um, let's just set up the teleport pipes here so I can request a button. That's on frequency. Three. I've actually added another frequency for a reason which I will show you later. So, button coming up. I should probably move this one. There we go. Um, uh, where did it go? There it is. Okay, so I'll put a button there. So, the red alloy ingot is set as a filter and I click and it pulls the red alloy ingot out. Sweet. Now, if I were to put, let's see, 40, well, let's make it, um, let's make it 5, 10, 10, I click and it pulls 10, very neat, so, This way we can easily pull out specific items from the uh, inventory of the chest. Very neat. Now, this one can see the difference between a charged and an uncharged battery. So if I take this one here, and uh, let's request up a couple of batteries. Where are they? I'm blind. You guys probably see it and go like, it's right there. There it is. Let's make 10. So, while we're waiting for this, um, why don't I show you the retriever? Oh, did I put my philosopher's stone away? Oh well. The retriever does pretty much the same. But it has a few more things. I'm not entirely sure what this does, but uh, I think it pulls a specific um, specific items uh, and then walks around uh, between them, but I'm not sure. I haven't tried this out. But, as I was saying, it will see the BT batteries, and uh, as you can see, we can have it pull batteries. Perfect. Okay, it didn't pull the red alloy ingot there. Neat. So, this one. If I tell it to pull BT batteries, now we do need to charge that guy up, so um, let me just hook it up real quick. 
There. There we go. So it will pull from this side. So let's um, let's do like this. If I put a battery box there and uh, I'll put the retriever there. And where is the screwdriver? I have it there. I want it to go that way. So that we can pull out. And uh, I put the... There we go. I need a new button now. Actually, I can't put a button there. Um, uh, let's... Uh Let's get a lever. I have plenty, I think. There we go. And whoosh. Goes through the sorting system, and there it is. Okay, it has no power yet, so let's uh, charge this battery box up. Now it has power. Okay, right now it will pull a full stack. And it'll send it back into the chest, okay? But if I tell this to only pull, let's see, charged batteries. Okay? Let's uh, charge another battery away. I have plenty. And I'll put these away there. And it pulled a charged battery, which is then put back. Right. So, these two working together. This one pulling that one. And that one pulling the charged one. Uh, the point with the retriever is that it doesn't have to be uh, plugged into this chest or to the inventory that it pulls from. So it could, in theory, pull from that battery box. So if I were to do that, take these batteries and put it in this one here. And it will pull that one and send it into the chest. Perfect. So, let me clean this up and we'll set up the design that we want. The drawback with the retriever is that it needs power. It doesn't need that much power, but some. So we're going to have to figure that out somehow. And I have no space. Takes forever to do that. Okay, so what I did was I put sort of a charging station below ground here. So let me just pull out some uh, jacketed wires. These will do. Can put that not gate away. We'll deliver it. We can put it away. Okay, so jacketed wires. They go down. Let's see, I had it there, so let's... Um, Move it down here. Like so. I also put the battery box down here. Just need one. Some normal blue ca uh, cable. There we go. And uh, let's find our way up. There we go. Okay. So, I have... A battery box, let's say, there. That's the one that we're going to charge from. It needs to be connected, so let's use some of that. Oh, that's not pretty. Um, let me do this real quick. I want to have that one. All right, much better. This one we won't see. So 
that one can be like so. And we put the retriever there. We'll turn it around like so. There will now be tubes going like so. Okay. Now we need the filter and it will pull from there, which is where I'll put my chest. This will be an ender chest at some point, but that will be in the future. And uh, let's see, now this one should have power, perfect. And there are going to be tubes going like this. Now I might have to do a little bit of reworking on this. Yes, I do. Remember these AND gates that I pre uh, created earlier? I had to make the golden ones to get the function that I wanted, but it's basically a golden chipset, some blue uh, pipe wire, and, uh, and uh, gold. I'm pretty sure it's just gold. So, let's see, I was looking for something in this bag here. Did I put away... I have a pulse former, a timer, and a knot gate, I think? Hmm, where's the knot gate? I might have put that way down in my base. Yeah, I probably did. Oh well, no biggie, we'll request a new one. So, here, I want to put up a cobblestone structure pipe. These are made with a cobblestone transport pipe and gravel. It's very easy. Now this one is a bit special. It won't accept any items going through, but it can take the gates. Perfect. We're also going to need one over by there. Okay, so I want this one to emit a redstone signal when there are no... Huh, let's see. This is not going to work the way I want it, I think. I'm going to have to put it on this side. Okay. Let's get the not gate. And we'll wait for that to arrive. So what I want this to do is to, when it's got a specific item in the inventory, which in this case is a BT battery, it should emit a redstone signal. And uh, look at this. It emits a redstone signal. I take this, and it doesn't. So, we know that works. But we don't want it to emit it all the time. We want it to do that only... Well, we want it to in emit when there is something in there, but we want that inverted, because the timer needs to have a signal... Oh, I had the NOT gate. Oops. It has to have a signal to be turned off. Let's see. Now that's the timer. And the timer will tick. Let's see. And we'll keep pulling as long as there are batteries in there. I think. Oh, hold on. This is not turned the correct way. There we go. So now, there is a battery sitting in there, and there are batteries in this one, so let's mark that one apart. Where did my batteries go? Oh yeah. These are now kind of lost in transit a bit. There we go. Did I get them back? Perfect. So, let's put back the retriever. And let's put back the pipes. Okay, so that's half of the construction. Now, the other half will be for this part over here. This one needs to emit a signal when there is a charged battery in there. 
like so. However, we only need it to emit a pulse. So let's see if it works. I don't know if it's possible to see it. There we go. Pulse. Mm, is that the correct... Yeah, it should be the correct way. So, we put some red alloy wire, like so, and then we put one of these little cover strips there, because we don't want it to connect to this one. Perfect, so what happens now if I put a fully charged battery? It gets pulled out by this one, which is currently just accepting everything. I just told it to just take the charged batteries. There we go. So, I put in a char uh, battery to charge. Oh, not enough power. But we have some charged batteries there. So let's just put it there. And it pulls it out, like that. Perfect. So this is pretty much automatic now. It's uh, not very compact. I could probably move it up a bit or change it a little bit, but uh, no biggie. I could probably also have this timer set to f 10 seconds, because it's going to be at least 10 seconds for it to charge. I think. Let's uh, check that real quick. I'm going to empty out these batteries. Oh yeah, almost forgot. The filter. There we go. And the filter is only for normal batteries. So that one has a good charge, so it's about... 5 five seconds, I think that's going to be good. Okay. So, it'll pull out one battery every five seconds. There we go. And it gets charged up. And it uh, gets pulled out, and there's a new one coming. Perfect. But that one will not be accepted, and it will go back into the filter and stay there. And uh, the filter will be jammed until that battery is charged. No big deal, but um, I'm going to have to juice up the amount of power I produce here. Why it is not pulling from the battery boxes is beyond me. If anyone knows, please let me know. Because it has a very big supply of energy, but it pulls near no power. There we go. And it charges up the batteries. And the last one should be pulled out in a moment. There we go. Now these will be stuck in. So I'll put it on 10 seconds. That's another one. Yeah, so it has a lot of energy from these, so I don't know. Um, Maybe it has to fill all these machines up before it continues on. I don't know. Let's uh, do that manually to see. There we go. Hmm. This one isn't doing anything really. Huh, I don't understand. Um, so there are a few things in uh, the red power power system that I don't know. But as you can see, the current is really low. It goes down there, but nothing to that one, which is strange because it should be requesting power.
maybe that one isn't entirely full yet or it's this one is not yeah this one is pulling a little bit of energy this one is not even though it should I don't know I'm gonna read up a bit on red power and see what we can find out about it anyhow so yeah that's uh, the basic uh, basics of it so I'm gonna head down to base and see what else we can build up I'm gonna show you the new uh, teleport system that I'm setting up. So let me clean up my inventory and I'll meet you there. Alright, so I'm down in the basement again and uh, this is what I did on my teleport system. We'll pipe teleport. Um, as you can see frequency 3 has zero connected pipes and this one has three connected pipes. I was having problems with my uh, logistics system not uh, really being happy about this because it seems that when you have so many connected pipes it'll just switch off some of the inputs so I had to switch it up to uh, have secondary frequencies so this frequency number three is what I use for uh, for new stuff uh, in the future I will put in more f uh, more uh, teleport pipes if I need them um, Let's see, what else do we have? Let's check this place and see what we have. Oh yeah, we have more gold gates. And uh, yeah, so the blue pipe wire, it's made with uh, lapis, redstone and iron, I think. I'm not entirely sure. If I just remove everything. Yeah, it's going to be the same, but for... So uh, it's quite neat. Just uh, let's just dump this for now, and uh, let's see. Is it redstone? Yeah, it's redstone and iron for the iron chipset. So let's just uh, keep this in the chest here, and we'll use it when needed. Oh, what do we have coming in here? That was a silky comb, was it? Yes. So, I've also set this one up. I don't know if I showed this one. Um, I've asked it to keep the silky propolis stocked in this one because it's not automatically uh, sent to the centrifuge because this one will pull it out before anything can be centrifuged out of it. So, this went to the chest, but I think it will come back pretty soon. See? No? Alright. Well, eventually it will. Because it says to keep that one stocked. But, um, let me just go upstairs here. And check in the forestry one. You can see we have nine. 19. Whoa. That's good. That's uh, quite a lot of silky wisps. Let's go to the carpenter and uh, turn this into cloth. Like so. And it will be producing woven silk for me. And the last one too, I want that one. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, I need to close that wall up. This uh, silk is something that I will use for... Uh, you can make the apiarist clothes so you don't get stung by bees, which is very nice. But you can also, if I'm not, sh not, an, I'm not wrong with this, you can make woven... Oh yeah, it's a carpenter recipe, so... As you can see, woven miner's backpack takes 45 slots needs woven silk and I think uh, some more things. I'm not entirely sure. We're gonna make these in the future but uh, for now I don't have the amount of silk that I need. However, I made myself an ender chest. Uh, this guy uh, is from the ender chest mod and uh, it's quite an expensive recipe. Ender pearl, wool, chest, some blaze rods, and obsidian. So I actually went to the nether to uh, find some blazes. And uh, I got about 10 blaze rods. Um, 
But what I want to do is I want to make an ender pouch. And these are made with four blaze powder, an ender pearl, wool, and some leather. So three leather, was it? Yes. And we need blaze powder. You make that from the blaze rods. And uh, yeah, an ender pearl, and uh, then we need the wool. And wool is something that we have a lot of. I actually switched off the automated farm because right now I have more wool than I will ever spend. So let's put this there. Just like that. No, switch this. There we go. An ender pouch. These are quite neat. You can have them link up with um, with an ender bag. So as you can see, if I open this, the bag op uh, the when I open the bag, the chest opens. Very neat. So if I put something in there, like three bread, and open this, I got three bread. Awesome. So this means is that I can make, for instance, a. I got a lot of blue colors. So let's make a blue. I don't know how this works. Blue. Blue, white, and blue. And I shift click on the uh, chest and I get a blue, white, blue bag. I'm gonna make it actually blue, blue, blue. There we go. Perfect. Now if I pick this one up. Yes, it keeps the colors. Perfect. So I'm gonna put that up by the uh, Blutricity station. And whoosh, we'll go upstairs. And I'll replace this chest here. There we go. That way, if I ever run out of batteries, I can just pick them up from this chest or from this pouch. Take a look at that. Does it pull anything out? Yes. I could probably set this timer to a short interval. It doesn't really matter. If, if the um, if the batteries are uh, in transit it doesn't really matter that much. So this way I will always have batteries. Now can I place a bag in a bag? Yes I can. Nice. So now we have the Blutricity Ender Pouch here. I might want to make uh, a couple of more of these Ender, uh, these ender Pouches but this will do for now. Alright so I think it's time to start working on that mining rig. But I'm going to find a good place for it. So um, I'll be back in a bit, guys. Here I am just crafting up two more ender chests. I also made myself a world anchor in preparation for the uh, frame quarry that we're going to need. Because uh, I want it to be... I want it to be... Uh, uh, to stay loaded all the time. Um, so, a quarry. What colors should we have? We should have... Well, let's just make it yellow. And... Uh, let's make it all yellow so we have one. Because what I wanted to do is to replace one of these chests. Well, this whole chest, actually with an ender chest. Like so. I'm gonna put something here later. Uh, I'm gonna make this base, uh, the base chest, and that's yellow, yellow, yellow. That means that everything that is uh, sent from my quarry will go automatically into my storage system. Very, very neat. So, with the Klein Star, well, not the Klein Star, but the Mercurial Eye, let's go to. I'm just missing it, creation mode, and uh, let's make sure it's uh, not loaded too much, and. Hmm. Doesn't work? Oh, there we go. 
There we go. Yeah, that works. It's not pretty, but it works. I could probably put something just behind the chest. Let's see how that looks. Ah. There we go. Might look a bit better outside. A little bit. It's not as neat as with the big chest that I had, but it will work. Alright, so back to finding where I'm to go and build our quarry. I'm gonna be building also a little bit of a base there, so I'll have the bed with me here and some torches. So um, I'll see you there. Alright, it's uh, lagging quite awful when I record and fly at the same time, but I think this will be a nice little area. It's near the jungle, and with a bit of luck I might actually find some jungle bees while I'm working out here. And um, it's not too far from my base, which is in that direction, but it's still far away enough so that I don't accidentally destroy my constructions. That would be kind of sad. So let me set up a little base uh, building here and uh, we'll get started. Alright, just requested up some um, yellow so that I can access my home chest. So I can get rid of these stone bricks, like so. And they get sorted away. This is very neat. So I built this little house and I do seem to have a visitor. A spider on the roof. Ow. And a creeper outside. Oh, go away. Alright, so. Let's take a look at this area now. This will be good enough. There is a uh, Thomcraft uh, obelisk over there, but it shouldn't be a problem. I'm gonna light this one up a bit more. There we go. Okay. So this is when I, where I want to build this thing. Let's start by constructing the drill itself. For that, I'm going to need these block breakers that I built. I have four of them, so let's start with that. I'm also going to need redstone tube. And uh, let's work with that chest for now. I'm going to use that uh, ender chest later, but I want this for testing. We're also going to need some support frames. And uh, I wonder if I need anything else. Hmm, let's uh, grab some, yeah, we're going to need support frames, and we're going to need, normal stone, I think, yes, let's grab about 10 of these, and just for building material, let's grab uh, a couple of cobblestone. So I have to keep an eye on this one because I've seen that sometimes my teleport pipe system kind of freaks out. It says three connected pipes now, one there. When I checked this earlier it said over 50 connected pipes and that's not how it should be. So, I wonder how I want to build this. Let's, uh, let's, 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 uh, build it a little bit above me so I get sort of a walk area walking area underneath so we will want right now I will only have space for two so let's start with that and on this one here I want to place that chest and we want to place the block breakers facing the correct direction, thank you. Like that. And like that. And now the tubes on there. If I were to place blocks underneath here now, and uh, apply a redstone 
current, which I will need to have some jacketed red wire for, and um, some normal red, and a button. Yeah, I will construct a little bit of a platform here to stand on. This will have to be frames because it has to be moved. Yeah, we're gonna need to remove that because this is where the second set is going. All right. So I placed this one there, and uh, and 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 uh, do I need jacketed wire for this? Maybe I do. Let's see. I think I made some. No, I didn't. So I need to make some wire. Was it cables? Yes, it's cables. Maybe. I'm just winging this. I'm not entirely sure, actually. Um, uh, I suppose I could do this and uh, have this connect like so and put the button there. Okay. And they broke the blocks just underneath. Cool. That works. That doesn't work because there are no blocks just underneath. So let's uh, put the cobblestone there and uh, try again. Perfect. And gets deposited into the, ch the chest here. Let's uh, place down the other two block breakers. And uh, turn them around and put the redstone tubes like so. And we'll do the same on these two. Like that. Perfect. And boom. Awesome. So that works. Um, now we need to find a way to, sing, uh, to set this one in motion going up and down. And we might also need some sort of I wonder if that... We need to have some wireless stuff, I think. Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna think about how I wanna set this up, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need a wireless redstone receiver here. Because this one will be moving. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to see what I can build. For the wireless receiver and transmitter, we need to have obsidian sticks, stone wire and wafers. And this is made with a wreath of pearl, which is made from ender pearls. So um, I'm going to head into my little hideaway here and... Uh, get started on building these. I'm just going to request a bunch of materials and I'll be right back with you. Alright, so I'm making the wreather pearls and uh, I don't know how many obsidian sticks I'm going to need. I also need wire and wafer. Stone bowls are just like so, so let's make two of these. I'm going to need four wires. They should be here four of these and uh, two wafers. And to make these, let's see, I need just one bowl. Okay, fair enough. And I need to have these rether the transceivers. Uh, let's make a bowl, an obsidian stick, and we need to have these. Perfect, that's the receiver. And uh, then that's the transmitter. Cool. Let's try this out. Wow. Okay. Um, these have some seriously advanced features, but let's just try it out. 
let's set these to like so. And I'm going to make, well, I can request up a lever, just for the sake of it. If I put down now some red wire there, put the lever there, and flip the switch, and perfect. Okay, so basically, oh, it's getting dark. Uh, let me just sleep through the night and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back on the Boarhead, so to say. Um, I crafted up one of these uh, stone panels. I'm gonna put it there. I'm not sure if this will work because if I try to uh, put the receiver directly on here, it wouldn't work. So maybe I just need to have a solid block, like for instance that one, because that one will be pulled with the machine. Okay, so let's um, test this real quick. I might want to set a frequency. Let's set it to 1. And to 1. Yes, but it does not automatically activate this, so let's uh, do it like this. I'm gonna need to have that jacketed wire, like so. That does not automatically activate either. Hmm. Do I need to somehow There we go. Maybe it needs to be in that direction. There we go. If I put red wire there and there, it should connect. How about now? Oh. If I set the correct frequency, that might actually work. Yes, it works. Alright, so now I have that set up. We need to put, um, I think it's covers. Oh, so let's make a bunch of covers. We need to put these underneath because otherwise Anything that this touches will be moved up with the machine. So all the way on the outside, like this. I'm not sure about these. They should be all right. I'm not sure. We'll have to experiment and see. Oh. There we go. Also on that side. It might not work, it might work, we'll see. So the point with this one is that it will go down and... Uh, actually I'm gonna have to have transposers, oh sorry, the block breakers on this one. That's going to be interesting. Let me think a bit and maybe redesign this whole thing. <laughs> I'll be back. Alright, so I did a little bit of work uh, off camera here to figure out the design that might uh, work for me. And um, as you can see, I started building this... Hey, stop it. There. I started building this platform above. It's um, where I will keep most of the machinery for the machine itself. So, um... We're gonna see how I solve this. Um, there is a few things, there are a lot of things that I need to do to get this working. But I ran out of power in the electric jetpack and I checked the time as well and we are running very 
late here so to say uh, it's up to an episode length so um, I'm gonna continue working a little bit off camera and uh, work out some of the problems that I've had so far and um, yeah I'll see you in the next episode see you guys